uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. There we go. Well, we're back again. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Yep. It's been a while, hasn't it's it, been a Peter? While. It's, that reminds me of a song. It's, it's been, been a, a while. Oh, sure. Oh, um, stained. Stained. stained yeah. Yeah. I think they called themselves stained because... They had, had dirty they underpants. Are, they either had dirty underpants or... They went to church a lot and saw the windows. Oh, possibly, <clears throat> yeah. The stained yeah, glass yeah. windows. Yeah, anyway. But it's highly likely they had stained underpants. Well, especially Skiddies in this weather. everywhere. Especially in this weather. Absolutely, I think especially lots in this of people have got stained Absolutely. underpants in yeah, this weather. I'm sure the, the frequency of people washing their underwear has gone up during, Absolutely, or goes yeah. up during yeah. the summertime. And, you know, it's amazing how much, you know, people uh, spend uh you know washing their underpants yeah even for even, their underwear even <clears throat> more than twice a day more probably more than twice a day. some people even change their underpants yeah. some uh, people or are their underwear maybe five times five yeah. times a day some people even buy buy underwear and wear <laughs> new underwear every day i was in uh, oh this one's a good for one for you i was in i was in tesco's earlier oh yeah just buying a few things and um then i saw a guy because it was it was raining and i saw a guy and he was he was wearing two carrier bags on his feet was he really yeah absolutely yeah and i'm thinking well two carrier bags on his feet you know on each you know a carrier bag on each foot really to, wow. to stop his shoes from getting wet or his feet so from got getting wet. oh he obviously has holes in his shoes absolutely yeah of course yeah, it was i was thinking yeah this, this now this is real life you know well, and well, i'm thinking yeah. he's this guy's wandering around tesco's he looks a bit shabby and i'm thinking you know i'm looking at everyone else and i'm thinking people are living in dream dream world yeah i know yeah. aren't they dreamland but, he would have been better off just taking his shoes off I'm he would have been better bare, off taking bare, absolutely bare. yeah why not yeah i mean it's nice weather to walk around in bare feet, feet really yeah. when you think about it but um whether it's it's quite good it's a good um maybe well i've only seen i think like, when i was saw somebody in manchester who just wandered around the place in bare yeah. feet oh right yeah yeah oh i mean it's quite nice refreshing i suppose you know if you yeah. want to do that that's fine go ahead and do it you know well, i've got no quibble as long as yeah. not causing any harm injury or loss to anyone that's fine it doesn't matter does it but isn't it Absolutely. amazing how lots of people look at someone like that and think oh no i don't want to do anything oh i'm not I'm talking to him i'm not talking to him oh, I'm not talking he's not to wearing him. any shoes he's not wearing oh look, he's, oh, look oh. have you seen him he's wearing carrier bags on his feet <laughs> what's the well, world coming so how ridiculous maybe is that? Maybe, maybe that's just a new new kind of shoplifter it could well be could well be well yeah, he wouldn't go wouldn't do well as a burglar would he putting things in the bags and then he can just run run away out the shop absolutely couldn't imagine him breaking into someone's house you know with shh, 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 oh right well, yeah shh. at least you couldn't be tracked well he'd be plodding with wouldn't the, he with the foot with the footsteps be footprints plod. now now scott of the antarctic could have had carry bags now he yeah, absolutely on his boots could have had carry bags on his boots absolutely yeah, yeah. he could now see he should have gone to tesco's or iceland iceland yeah should have gone to iceland yeah, before, he, to iceland. before he left on his ship yeah. and uh, gone in got got some freezer foods and all this lot got all his supplies yeah. and got some carrier bags yeah we should hot on his feet to stop him from getting yeah. frostbite I, th I think you and me should as he made made his way to allegedly <laughs> the south pole oh yeah i think you and me should write a letter to iceland and ask them has, has iceland ever th ever thought of not using their mum's gone to iceland catchphrase scott's gone to antarctic in their, in their adverts because it seems as though a lot of people don't want anything to do with their mothers these days absolutely of course or they yeah. want to have less to do with their mothers these days absolutely of course yes so but it doesn't matter whether mum's gone to iceland 
or, or who, dad's gone to Iceland, or it, whoever. It doesn't matter doesn't who's matter. gone to Iceland. All I know is, that's is one that thing that annoys shit. That's one thing that annoys me about it, society, and <sighs> that is it promotes good, wholesome family values. When we got Mother's Day, Father's Day, and I don't believe you, you've even got Grandparents' Day, and you see adverts on the telly and all this lot. But in reality, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. It's dream world. Dream world. Dream, dream world. world. But anyway. anyway we're back again annoying people with the truth because because a lot of families dislike the truth a lot of families dislike the truth especially mums who go to iceland absolutely but um because you can't get uh, any bargains there I we, tell you. We, we've had quite we've had quite a relaxing few days we've we've been kind of like uh, had a break from doing these videos haven't we really well, the last video we put last up was, video we last put up was thursday i think or friday and uh, just like to say Thursday. thanks to all those who've who've uh, who've um, given me a thumbs up on the guitar bit that I put up, guitar video I put up. It's very yeah, kind quick, of you. Quick thank you to Sun so, yeah. Moon Group for having us last Friday. Yeah. A quick thank you to. Quick thank you to um, who else? Who else? Quick thank you to Vic. And um, yeah, and a quick thank you to you. Of and, course. Yeah, absolutely. And, and to all you globies out there who well, love watching our videos. <clears throat> yeah, we've we've been invited again to the Sun and Moon Group this Friday. They've got their fiftieth uh, birthday celebration. Celebration, as it were. Um, do, do, do. So. We've we've been asked to go on, so we'll we'll go on for a little while, and then probably it's a celebration. Probably leave them all to get uh, get uh, get in the swing of things, and Absolutely. you know. Yeah. But um, anyway, now what we've got lined up for everyone today is um, we, we we feel a bit. Of, you and me feel absolutely. a bit like our pace is quite slow tonight. It's because yeah, it's because we can relax more. You see, because I've I've gotten rid of quite a number of globies from the channel. Oh right, yeah. Because I've gotten no, to a point. No, they'll still watch the videos. Oh, they'll still watch the videos. But you see, the thing is, I've gotten to a point where uh, they just bore me. I'm I'm literally bored with the vast number of globe people who come onto the channel and leave comments. Leave silly comments. Yeah, absolutely, because they can't seem to understand. They can't that, grasp their willies. They can't grasp the reality that flat Earth. Has people have been discussing and debating Flat Earth for three solid years, as far as I'm aware, on YouTube. That's three solid years. Yeah. People have been putting up videos. They've been making comments. Two, four hundred comments. They've been doing some, lots of observations. They've been doing lots of observations, and people are still discussing and debating Flat Earth. Absolutely. Globe Earth. What's wrong but, with that? But the thing, is, the thing is, these globe people can't seem to understand that, well, there must be something wrong. There must be something in it, surely. Do you not think, well, I think what oh, we I should do is start debating about who won the World Cup uh, in 2014. No, because we all know that, don't we? Shall we, shall we discuss that and debate that? But you who did, do you think you, won? Well, I think it was Germany. Do you think it was Germany? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Did, wasn't but, it Guatemala? No, it was, it was Germany. Was it Germany? Yeah, yeah nobody d debates that, do they? For some no. reason, <clears throat> it's very clear cut. Very clear cut. Well, nobody I'm trying to. Nobody I'm debates trying to, that. I'm trying to debate. I want, I want to publicly put out to any globy that I'd very much like to debate with them. What colour knickers the Queen wears? Absolutely. Now you could be debating now, for a long, long time. Yeah, and we're what <clears throat> we'd like. They could be brown to hide the stains. And I'd very much like to come to a definitive conclusion of what colour they actually are. Absolutely, of course. Yeah. So if you've got any ideas, and uh, you've got I you've got some kind guesses. of evidence, you've yeah. got to have some kind of evidence. I don't want any guesses. Now we're not asking I don't for want proofs ifs or maybes. I don't want calculations. Yeah, you can't give we, us calculations. We, we can we can roughly ascertain her waist size. <clears throat> Absolutely, of course, we can. And without measuring, body, we can wear yeah, without measuring. We could actually do that through mm. observation. So we can use that as a basis of to determine the size, but I want to know the colour. Absolutely, of course. Do you think it'll probably go with? I reckon. I reckon maybe a, maybe a yellow, yellow green. Well, it could be flora, <clears throat> flora, floral, floral, a yes. floral pattern, floral pattern. Absolutely. With yes. A, with a few skiddies <laughs> here and there, and some, and some. Uh, um, and then we have to emissions. And then we have to uh, talk about whether they're got reinforced 
But they reinf- absolutely. Whether they've got uh, strengthened elastic reinforcements, yes, and absolutely. all this kind of stuff. But uh, but the, it's a, uh, <clears throat> the only reason why I say that is because I can discuss this with any globy, but we will not come to a definitive answer as to the colour of, the, the, queen's color of the queen's knickers. Queen's absolutely, we will not do it. Yeah, you won't do it because no, because you need to ask her. The only time, yeah, the only time we will know is with me and a, a globy went along to the, see the queen and say. Come on, Queenie, show us your knickers. So how does that relate to the globe and flat earth then, Peter? Well, you're saying it's a globe. Well, come on then. Let's go and see that it's a globe. Absolutely, of course. Let's go into this into, into SpaceX. Let's go into their little rocket. Let's go into NASA's little rocket. Yeah, we're fed up of hearing it from other and people. And let's go up into the atmosphere and let's have a look at the earth. Absolutely, of course. And let's see that it's a sphere. Because it isn't a sphere. It isn't a sphere. It's flat. It's flat. Absolutely. It is absolutely flat. That's why nobody does it. Absolutely. Nobody. Nobody from the from no Joe blogs goes up in space. Absolutely. That, that's that's one of the Bullshit. reasons why you don't have you don't have you know, all these think, all these science people are well aware of the flat Earth resurgence, and yet none of them have actually thought to themselves, look. Like, think about all the guys, top guys at NASA. Oh, look, there's lots of people who think the Earth's flat. Well, what should we do about it? Well, come on. Well, of course it's not flat. We know it's round. We've been up there, and uh, you know, the we've been knew, to the we've the been Greeks to the moon. Two thousand well, What years I think ago. we should do, we should provide them with some real proper information, so that they they're convinced that the Earth is round. Well, so what they do is they turn the cameras around at, on the I International Space Station. They, they become more transparent and more open, so they let everyone know for sure that the Earth is a spinning ball. But they haven't done that. Or, no, or... They've not done that at all. No, or they actually... So it makes you question, well, why haven't they done it? It's because the Earth is flat. Or they actually say, well, we've been going up to space for for decades now. You know, what, the space shuttle and... Um, Absolutely. The Apollo missions, the Gem- Gemini missions, all these missions. And they've got so fuck all let's, to show let's, for it. let's take up a, a flat earther. Let's, let's take up let's take let's up Let's take up Geronism. Geronism or um Let's let, absolutely let's take Geronism. Let's take Rob Skeeber. Put yeah. them in let's put them let's take them to the to the International Space, Space Station. Station. Absolutely. Oh but no because you need training, you need years of training. But they could take them up as guests. Absolutely, special guests. There's nothing wrong parents. with that. Absolutely. Of course. People take guests in their cars. If they want to take yeah. someone in their car, fancy a ride. Yeah. You don't need to have your driving test. Or there's no test for being a passenger of a car, yeah. but you're more than welcome to come in. That will prove to you that I own this car, this is my car, yeah. and it will prove to you that I can drive. And Brian Cox, he appears as a guest on certain civil so why doesn't he go up into space absolutely i've never seen brian cox on the international space station no i haven't either wow i think it's about time he should be on i never saw him on the space shuttle either yeah well he should be he should be up there do you think he'll go to mars and michio michio kaku michio tries to be like this guy here oh this mr mr einstein Einstein. yeah absolutely isn't it ridiculous when you think about it you've got all these people like einstein when you really do think about it, it's bollocks. Anyway, come on. Come but on. we need to get on because we've got quite a, quite a, well, quite a fair amount to come get on. through. Now, what we've got lined up for everyone tonight is we're going to, where's the list? Not that there's much on it today. We're going to have a little look at, um, oh yeah, we may as well have a little look at c- costume, fancy dress. Fancy dress. Fancy dresses. In the Globe Society. <clears throat> In the Globe Society. We're also going to have a little look at uh, a little, small little, um, debacle or matter of perception maybe on vertical takeoffs yeah. bit, bit very similar to our did that helicopter land on mount everest or or did it absolutely or did it not and we're gonna um so big thank you to um chris fe jackson who um gave dedicated a video especially for us to do with scott which we'll show everyone and what else we're going to do we're going to have we're a little look, have a look at, at einstein's theory of stupidity we're going to have a big look at einstein's theory of stupidity or one thing a part of it and i think we're gonna have a little look at a photograph of our rusting oh yeah Yeah. what i've done lately and i think that's about it isn't it yeah that's about it it, yeah so so okay should we get but first we've got to do our song absolutely and our song for today is from flat tastic yes flat tastic and nirvana on a plane 
on a plane on a plane so if you fancy rocking baby then feel free Did to it? rock yeah Off. Without any words, I got so high. I scratched till I bled. I love myself better than you. I know it's wrong, so what should I do? The finest day that I've ever had was when I learned to cry on command. I love myself better than you. I know it's wrong, so what should I do? I'm on a plane, I can't complain, I can't complain I'm on a plane My mother died every night, it's safe to say Quote me a man, I love myself better than you I know it's wrong, so what should I do? I got blackmailed again Forgot to put on the zip code Climb I love myself Better than you I know which one So what should I do? I'm on a plane I can't complain I'm on a plane Anyway, there we go Somewhere, yeah I've heard, I've heard this before in a dream, a dream. My, memory has <laughs> my memory had stowed. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much, oh, we Nirvana, talking, we were talking about, talking and about. on a plane, well, and thanks ever so much for Flatastic, that was Flatastic, that was Flatastic, yeah. absolutely, but anyway, yeah, we were talking about memories, because we were talking about, um, why is it, why is it that when, when you go on a journey, the return journey always seems quicker? absolutely and i've come up i've come up with my own little theory that the reason why a journey always feels shorter than uh the, the why the return journey always feels shorter than the outward journey it's, it's very simply because we have bad memories it's simply because we have bad memories yeah. absolutely yeah because we forget the journey outwards mm. because we essentially we're creatures yeah, the you, return journey is fresh in our minds. Right, absolutely, the Basically. absolutely the we're creatures who really ought to be living in the present, in the here and now. Absolutely, and so obviously we're going to forget an awful lot of stuff that and is absolutely too, meaningless in our there's lives. Too many people living in the past, but that's why I think, and uh, I'm sure that's probably pretty true. Who is it that said this to? Oh, was it expectations? Um, was one theory. Um, familiarity was another. I thought it was familiarity, because you've 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 driven down the road once, so you're familiar with it with 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 it the road the the sights. No, it's probably so. When you come back, it just feels shorter. But I think that's rubbish. I personally think that it's um, fresh in your mind. You've forgotten the journey yeah. outwards, the outward journey. Hmm. Oh, was well, return Bob, journey? Bob, oh, just a quick thanks to Bob and uh, his brother John. Absolutely quick thanks uh, to you two guys for the, the drink and your company. It was really nice. And we had our uh, flat earth meeting last night and uh it was we had three guys turn up. Yeah. Three, three guys. Three amateur guys turn up, fresh fresh into life as it were. Yeah. Maybe I don't know how old would you put them down at being? Maybe early twenties. Early twenties. And I have to admit they stayed for a drink and then they said we're just popping out for, for a fag smoke. yeah and Didn't i said see him again i've given that up i we've gave we've given that up smoking yeah, we gave up, yeah. but they left to go and have their cigarette and they didn't come back yeah, yeah. and i'm thinking oh well i'm thinking to myself yeah they're a bit scared aren't they really yeah they were scared of the truth but if they are listening if they are listening there's absolutely. nothing to be scared about there's nothing to be scared about because it stares you right in the face. Because it'll hit you. It'll hit you wherever you go. Wherever you go. At how, some point. However old you get, you it doesn't matter in your how, life. How much you escape from it. Absolutely. You can't. People cannot escape, escape. reality. Absolutely. And if they don't like their reality, well, <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Yeah, oh. you do. You can change things. Okay, just always remember that. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, it was on. quite interesting that they came along because obviously there was some kind of interest in one of them because one of them was the driving force in going coming yeah. Yeah, coming along said, and his, tell. the other two were just friends who gave him a bit of support yeah but i could tell he was he was i could see him smirking yeah he was he was God. smirking he was smirking a bit but he there was a genuine desire to understand but he's obviously the flat earth yeah. The time wasn't right for him. Yeah, I, I felt. But it, it's clear because of his smirking and then him actually being there, uh -huh. it's quite clear that he's got an internal conflict. He's got an internal conflict, absolutely. But he's trying well, to. Uh -huh. He's a confused individual. Absolutely, because his right hand's doing this and his left hand is doing this on the other absolutely, side. Absolutely, so yeah. <clears throat> so, many, so many people are fucked up. Fighting with himself. And, I mean, they, they could have had the common courtesy of just coming, coming back and say, yeah, thanks ever so much. We've decided to go. I would have thought, yeah, that's fine, that's no but, problem. But, but they didn't. They just up some went. That's because they're not... What's that all about? Because they're not mature. That's because they're immature people. You they know? don't know and themselves. And these people have been brought up. They've been educated by these uh, globe society. And they haven't because got the decency to interact and communicate with other people. Because if they knew themselves... That's because they're fucked up. If they knew themselves, they'd be, they'd, they wouldn't be frightened to actually come back and say, thanks very much, but Absolutely. this just isn't for us. It, it's not for us, yeah. We've, yeah, we, yeah, we've only come for... Or they should have said, yeah, we've only come to see what it's like. Uh, can't say how, how long we're going to stay for. Do you know what I mean? They should yeah, have been yeah, a bit yeah. more mature. Anyway. But anyway. Anyway, well, we don't mind. We're, we're easy, do you know what I mean? We know thing, people have their problems, so, you know. So the main thing is that there's more people... Who are aware that there's people out in life who, who think the earth is flat. Who consider the earth is flat. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, come on. Absolutely, of course. But anyway, so so Take we can off. click that off. Now, um, let's go on this one first. Now, we were on vertical takeoffs, weren't we? Jane Threes left us oh, a right comment yeah. or left us a link to a dreamline or, or some kind of air, uh, aircraft doing a vertical takeoff Take so now our question and now our question this probably question, isn't the best one i'm sure or our no it doesn't matter no you want it at the front yeah but you can't see that it's taken off vertically though can you that's the problem that's now our, our question to everybody our is, question, let's just is ask. this plane taken off vertically <clears throat> absolutely i mean i mean it's i mean it's all sorry wait there here we go there you go <clears throat> now is this plane taken, taken off, off vertically, vertically? This is the thing. Now, we don't think it is. We think this is not taking off vertically well, at all. We think that this plane is just going, is taking off, and then it's going into a steep incline. Absolutely. So so it's it's kind of like, like that. Yeah, steep incline. Steep incline, as opposed to taking off like this. Yeah. It's more of a steep angle. Steep but it's incline. not like this. Yeah. You know, it doesn't go off like a rocket, yeah. vertical, like, like a rocket would. Well, so shall we? So, just to clarify, what we mean by vertical takeoff? Yeah, let's have a little look at a Harrier we, jump jet. Let's have a look at a Harrier let's jump jet because everybody's look. familiar with a Harrier jump jet. Aren't yeah, we? I'm just going to mute this so we we don't need to hear it. Do we? Ver vertical Harrier now. Vertical here we takeoff. Go. Best close up. Here now, we go. Now watch this. Now look. You want to put the uh, put the volume on? Okay. Now, that that was vertical. vertical. You, you yeah, agree I with would it. agree with that. <clears throat> everybody, yeah. everybody would agree with me that, vertical. that that's vertical. So when we go back to this, this is definitely not a vertical takeoff, is it? No. This no. is a take uh, a take. <coughs> this is just a uh, a, a normal steep incline oh. incline takeoff. Absolutely. Yeah. So we've we've got another video that's on YouTube that has a crap. Uh, title. Misleading title: Unbelievable Boeing 787 Vertical Takeoff. But it's not Paris vertical. Air Show 2015. It's bullshit. There we go. Just watch there you watch go. This. What you can watch it from here. It's not. It's just going into a steep the, incline. And the worst thing is you, that would be vertical. We 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 did have we did have a little hunt around for these videos, and we couldn't find uh, a video of the actual a side view of the aircraft going like this. We couldn't see yeah, one. You, you can't get a video of it actually where you see it actually go. Uh, absolutely, like yeah. it's ridiculous. You can't see one. All it's, you can see is one that goes like this. 
or like for, this. or taken from a different from the front from the front from the front yeah or from behind or from yeah. above but it's because not from the side they don't show you the side because people will think but that's, but not, that's vertical. not vertical is it absolutely uh, i mean it's ridiculous people are fucked up you got it. it absolutely but um anyway so but that uh, kind of like wraps but that up leave your comments below. leave your comments if, if you, you think, think it's vertical if you think it's vertical please uh, leave a comment and explain why, why you, you think, think it's it is vertical i don't remember and remember if you think it's a load of bollocks just say vertical so. is something that's like that huh. yeah that's perpendicular to the ground huh. absolutely of course that's vertical and but if you are a globy we you can always get a uh, protractor out you know get all your absolutely of course absolutely but uh, anyway, so, so that wraps that up now we're going to stay on this harrier jump jet for a little while absolutely because one of the things that i found really really remarkable with this video clip and that is it's kind of like it's 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 given me the decision it's allowed me to make a decision on um high bypass turbofan turbo fans you see on passenger jets and whether yeah. they are whether they use fuel or whether they don't so let us look at this video okay let's watch this video and then we'll have a little chat about it okay we only need to watch the yeah hold on let's just watch let oh, no, come in 14 seconds oh, okay. you might be going like this it might yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, there you should be doing that. There we go. Just up Vertical takeoff. Vertical takeoff. Now that is um, not bad at all. I'm just keeping the eye on them. Uh, let's have a little look like it's quite they they're quite interesting how they work. I'm looking at those. You want to use them out? So so now we'll look at it. The landing gear is still down. Okay. We need to see what's doing. Well, at the moment it's just hovering. So we've taken off from the uh, from the air, air, air cabin, aircraft cabin. So it's kind of hovering. So it hasn't touched its uh, landing gear. Stay there, stay there, stay there. It's only two cover now. I mean, it's a tough it's landing gear, right? Yeah. I'm going to fly and then put it more and more. So what's the point of that? It's just a vertical taper. Oh, really? Sure, but what's the point of taking off and just staying there? What's the point of what's the point about the video? Well, I thought it's, um, yeah, but I just find it really interesting. The main point about the video is this, and that is when you really do think about it, it's well, quite. Turn the volume off. Yeah, I'm going to turn the volume off because we've all heard Come the on. engine going. But um, when you watch, see what happens is you keep your eye. Let's have a little. What happens is just this area here. Okay, on the on the sides of the turbo fans. Okay, there's there's these little outlets of elbow. El these elbow joints where the, the, they the swivel actual, they swivel downwards where the mouse pointer is you can see that now if you watch carefully you'll see that they they'll slowly turn down this way okay which oh, well, this yeah, is, what they're, this is what they're doing now okay yeah there okay. you go yeah, yeah there you go now the flaps are down that will ensure that the, the air the, catch, captures the air that's coming out yeah, of those yeah sure but a lot of air is being forced downwards yeah, yeah. okay so it's just like oh, a rocket just it's just moving. like a rocket the thrust coming out there you go. Up and, go. Up, and then up it goes okay. now, now lots of smoke a fair amount of smoke oh, there yeah okay it, you don't see any more smoke okay well there's, there's, there's a little no, bit there's a little bit but not much smoke um so what i'm going to do and all the time that it's um hovering hovering you'll notice that those um i don't know what elbows the elbows are always downwards they're always faced in a downward position so the air's coming in and then it's getting it's getting directed downwards mm. okay now uh, what i'm good what so i really like to do is i'm just going to play this 
from this area. No, 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 I think it's really think it's yeah, good. So only <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, if you listen to this very carefully, okay, as it's, as it's um, raising upwards, as it's taking off vertically. Oh. Here we go. Have a listen. Right. As far as I'm concerned, what's coming out of those, the elbow join, joints, as it were, is hot air. Absolutely, yeah. It's just yeah, hot air coming hot out. Air. They've in, it's obvious, because we see the um, kind of like smoke, there's obviously a fuel being burned. But because we don't see that all the time, we can probably say that the uh, fuel is burned only to get the RPMs up to a certain... On those turbo fans. Revolution on those turbo, turbo fans as soon as that um, the rpms have been reached they cut the fuel they don't need to use any fuel, fuel. anymore yeah that is just pumping out hot air as far oh. as i'm concerned it's got it just looks like a hair dryer yeah a basically. very very powerful hair dryer, hair dryer yeah you know if you, if you can pump the air through your hair dryer so much <laughs> you'll get you'll move backwards yeah you know it's it's absolutely it's there it's there. I, I just want to play the. Oh, it comes into land as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll just, we'll just, we'll just coming into land. So, so this kind of. So I mute this one. So hold on, hold on. There. So that this kind of goes again. You the third law of motion. Why does it? Because it's for every action there's an equal opposite reaction, and because it's rocket. Yeah. They be exploding. Yeah, there you go. Just cut this in. Yeah. Did you see how the video yeah, jumped anyway. there? <coughs> right at the end there, it just anyway. jumped. But it just goes, if you just put it at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, there. Now, the, the air is <coughs> coming in at the front. The air comes in there. And then it's diverted. And then it's diverted down. downwards. But you haven't got an equal, an opposite there, have you? Yeah, but you've got the air that's come, all they're doing, all those turbofan engines are doing, is just directing the air downwards. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, you haven't. Where's the resistance? The resistance is the deck of the ship, for one, and yeah, the air but, that's surrounding the columns yeah, of. But if you com if you compare that with a rocket and what these globies say, how rockets work, yeah, just by moving something in one direction will make it move in the opposite direction. Yeah. Why isn't that going backwards? Because it's drawing the air in. Yeah. In front, it's drawing the air in. Yeah. So yeah. why isn't it going this way? I, th I, th I, th <clears throat> I think because think about that, that with rockets. Yeah. Because yeah. they chuck out the the exo We should have a little model rocket. We should have a little model rocket. I know. Yeah. I can. I mean, should have a little model rocket. Well, go on. Just go, explain. Look. These well, we can get say, a gimp up if you fancy. No, these globies say that if you if you throw something out in that direction, this is going to move in that direction. Yeah, that's what so they say. So if the air is coming <clears throat> into the Harrier this way, yeah, if you do it that way, so people can see. Or what this mean. way, that's it. Then it's going to the 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 jet should move in that direction because it's the opposite direction. Oh right. Oh oh oh. So, you know, oh, sure. That's the, that their understanding. Sure. Oh right. Isn't it? Sure. <clears throat> sure. But you can you can you can you can quite easily see that it's just hot air that that's just pumping out. Yeah, it's just hot air, very hot air. Yeah, there's no fuel. Only <clears throat> when it wants to reach maximum RPM. RPM. Absolutely, and anyway. it's, it's probably got brakes in, included in it to oh, slow it down. Yeah, oh, yeah, slow anyway, it down. Come on. <clears throat> Absolutely, because that, that's what come we on. think. We think yeah. these come uh, high just click it bypass off. turbo fans only use fuel as and when when they when they need to increase the rpm or the or the only mm. way we can disprove that <clears throat> is by actually compressing air right down where you can actually see it burn where it produces smoke absolutely yeah of course but and that is something you and me can't do yeah we can't do but we'd like to see some anyway. some some information Come on. but anyway Come on. now <clears throat> thank we got we got to say thanks ever so much to uh chris uh, flat earth jackson for um Allow well, just dedicating a video for to us. Yeah, Scott, Scott the, the Antarctic Memorial for Peter and Pete. Pete. Yeah, and um, this is where <clears throat> this is basically where Chris obviously lives in Plymouth, or he was there. Yeah, and obviously went to there's a memorial in Plymouth yeah, to do with Scott's house, and you see this 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 
this thing that's there made out of stone and there's plaques on the way there there's plaques there you know yeah there you go yeah, commemorating the oh, people yeah. there's no dogs there's, there no dogs there's no dogs no um sledge motor sledges or anything there yeah. you know all this and they, it's got lovely inscriptions on it all this bollocks but you yeah. know just just to make make people think that english are brave people yeah, brave people you know what i mean yeah, whereas they're crazy. not you know it's just a story had we lived sh should should have had uh, whatever i can't doesn't can't matter. doesn't matter but you've got this there not to yield there you go there the guys there they go. Put endurance. In, they go. Pull in their sledges. Pull in their sledges. As if that's. As if that's. Come on. I as mean, if think that about really it. happened. One hundred and fifty miles allegedly. Oh, because someone left a comment, didn't they? That they were in the Marines or somewhere in the army, stationed out in Norway. And oh they, right, they were yeah, doing sure. Skiing with, uh, with pulling loads. Pulling loads. That, and doing that. Well, it's ridiculous. Doing. Yeah. It's just. Oh. It's just crazy. There's there's the ponies. You know, think about it logically. You know, to exert all of that effort, these people would have had to have been eating four or five meals a day. Well, to they would have been eating an awful meals, lot, yeah. absolutely. And they only had a limited number of amounts of supply, supplies. Yeah. You know, the whole Scott uh, story is just absolute so bollocks. bollocks yeah. It's just ridiculous how anyone thinks that well, uh, it's just like the Apollo missions. I mean, it's just proof. like the Apollo. Absolutely, it's just like the Apollo. There's n there's no proof, there's, and there's there's no evidence. There's no evidence to support the truthfulness of the information that supports Scott's journey to the South Pole. None mm. whatsoever. Sorry. And the same applies to Amundsen as well. You might as well just read a Terry Pratchett book. Absolutely, yeah. If you, you know, yeah, but, so so. But thanks ever so much, Chris. It's been very yeah. nice of you to do that. Uh, we we both feel quite honoured. Honoured, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. of course. And if but we're, uh, if we're ever in Plymouth, we'd certainly look you up. Absolutely, or we might graffiti the uh, the Scott Memorial and blame it on you. <laughs> absolutely, Chris was here. Oh right, well, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. of course. But uh, anyway, that I think that wraps that up. Yeah, that wraps that, that one up. That yeah. wraps that one up. See, we're getting we're getting through them like like um, yeah, we're coming. We got we got like uh, flies on shit, aren't we? Now because this is the big this is now this is the this is the this is the big thumbnail. One. Of course, yeah. Let's get the thumbnail up now, <clears throat> Mister Mister Alb Alby. Yeah, he has a theory of stupidity. Alby's got a theory easy. of stupidity. Yeah, yeah it's and, very easy, and that is to come up with so much crap it makes people stupid absolutely the, the whole thing is is to come up with lots of information and that it just um, doesn't make sense doesn't make sense but and people get confused and, and it makes them stupid and it makes them stupid absolutely and it's a wonderful wonderful theory and it's called the theory of relativity absolutely but we've just called it the theory of stupidity <coughs> we, we've called it, it the stupid. theory of stupidity because the it's a stupid theory the the theory of relativity is absolute bollocks, bollocks. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. and uh, and we've <coughs> got a prime example to yeah. show you now let's just hope it's not copywritten we've we've got einstein we've we came across this video here einstein's relativistic train in a tunnel paradox so it's a paradox oh oh it's oh. an enigma Oh well, what do you know? What do we get? Is it right or is it left? Is it real or is it imaginary? Is it up or is it down? Could it be back or is it front? Is it dark or is it light? Is it black or is it white? Is it real or unreal? Is it paper or is it stone? <laughs> yeah, got you there. Oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, got you yeah, there. Yeah. There we go. But um this is absolute tosh this train in a tunnel paradox in honor of einstein is absolute bollocks i don't know what should we do should we play it or should we not play it or what well i think what we could do because i'm because we could read we I'm could concerned read about copyrights so yeah i'm concerned about just copyright. take some stills from the video okay let's take a few stills now you have this computer gener generated girl called well, sarah and you have this who's standing by a railway line who's standing by a railway line now so wave hello to sarah hi sarah hi sarah hi sarah don't get your dress dirty yes. on the rails you got you're wearing a lovely short skirt there sarah yes was that to attract all of these I'm globies not sure, i'm not sure whether your breasts are 
at the right position for your oh, age, mind you. Oh, right, they look a bit heavy, don't they? They do, don't they? Absolutely. Perhaps, perhaps gravity is pulling them down. Absolutely, of course. But we've also got this guy Adam. here. Here's say, Adam. Say hello to Adam. Hi, hi, Adam. Hi, hi Adam. <laughs> For Mad, yeah, absolutely. On come all, 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 come on, all you globies, say hello to Adam. Say, say hello to Adam. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. Hi. <laughs> yes. Oh, absolutely crazy, ridiculous. Now, what the video does essentially is that it tries to explain to people that you've got two people's perspectives as it were you've got sarah's sarah's on the, on on the side of the train track and you've got adam who's actually on, on board the train, the train. oh okay right. and it's a euro and it's a super it, comfort liner absolutely train. it's a super comfort liner yes yeah. ob absolutely anyway. should, we, should we play a little bit of or not yeah we'll just turn the volume down so you don't play the volume yeah i'm not i'm not playing let's let's play this so there's the train and the train's going into a tunnel Ooh. now here we go Lucky let's just read lights, this according it? to einstein's theory of stupidity sarah will see the length of this train as shorter due to the fact that from her perspective the train is moving at close to the speed of light well it's not really it's not really because a train can't travel at the speed, speed of light. light it's just moving very fast it's just moving very fast of course let's carry on shall we yes there we go let's just let's just go so um so there's because of the train's going a lot quicker they make the train shorter because that's what she sees she sees the trains <laughs> much shorter the the train's gone it's it yeah. faster now from Adam's perspective, should we say hello to Adam? Hello, hello Adam. Adam. Hello. There we go. From Adam's perspective, the train is standing still, mm. and it is it is the rest of the Earth which is moving in the opposite, opposite direction. direction. So, do you reckon the train's moving from uh, from New York to San Francisco because the Earth's rotating in well, that direction? Well, it's possible. It's possible, but the Can atmosphere's be. moving with it. Oh, so right. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. It could well be that the atmosphere is moving with the train. But that wouldn't work because you wouldn't get a, a full court pendulum wouldn't work then. Oh, maybe. of course, yeah. But and maybe the there's a full. But the full court pendulum's working on the train. Oh, and then you've got the Coriolis effect as well. But that How will work that, on the train. How does that... Affect? Everything oh. works on the train. Oh, when you're inside because, the train. Absolutely, because Adam's, Adam's in that environment. Oh, well, yeah. And what happens... So, because Adam can throw a ball from the back of the train to, to the, the front, front of the train, and it's as if the train's not moving. Oh, right, yeah. That's right, yeah. Absolutely, right, of course. Yeah. And then somebody called George could throw the ball back to Adam. Absolutely, yeah. But is unfortunately, that George is that, isn't there. Is that because it's in an enclosed system? Oh, of course. Well, the only reason why it would work is because it's in an enclosed in system. system. Yeah, because it's Absolutely. not open to the environment. Yeah, if we rip the roof of the train off, the ball would fly that way. Absolutely. Even though Adam's thrown it this way. Yeah, because it's got so many forces. It's got air, it? resistance yeah, air resistance acting yes. on the ball. Absolutely, yes. But anyway, so Adam's on the train and he notices that the train, that he notices... Is standing still. Uh, and the, the rest of the earth, which uh, is moving in the opposite direction. Absolutely. There you go. There's Adam. So the train's moving and it's moving into the tunnel. tunnel. There, we, there go. we go. Passes Sarah. Bye, Bye Sarah. Sarah. Bye. Therefore, from Adam's perspective, the train is still at its normal length and it is the length of the rest of the earth, which has become shorter. shorter. Absolutely, of course. So, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, both points of view are equally valid. valid. Yes, absolutely. But can I mention something there, Pete, before we move Suppose forward? that this train passes through a tunnel. Oh, it's a supposition. Oh, well, yeah. It's only can a supposition. Can I mention something first before we okay. move on? And mm. there's... But doesn't the train... The size of the train doesn't can't change, can it? Well, really, the length of the train doesn't change at all. No, it doesn't, does it? It doesn't, really. No. So you've got to be really uh, stupid to think that the train is shorter. Absolutely, or of the, course. The, the, or that the earth is shorter. Absolutely. You've got to be really stupid, And also, can I say something, Peter? Yes. Well, the, if you look at the length of the tunnel here, it's quite long, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it looks very whereas, long to me. Whereas when adam was going through the tunnel it's really short oh what's happened to it's it? changed in size oh well, that's what, but oh well, yeah 
The, but surely the the tunnel but doesn't change in no, length, it does it? It's it wouldn't change. If Adam measured the tunnel so. and if Sarah measured the tunnel, they'd reach the same length if well, they used the same device to measure the length. Well, hold on, Pete. Yes, now, Peter. Now, if I used my education that I had at school, then I could work. I could calculate the speed that the train is going out. Oh, yes. And then I could time myself as I go through the tunnel yes and then i could calculate the length of the tunnel absolutely would you use seconds um, i could use even seconds <coughs> you could use milliseconds minutes you? seconds or milliseconds so then i can determine how long that tunnel is according to the speed of the train absolutely do you think sarah could do the same thing too absolutely sarah could actually <clears throat> measure it with some rope or something absolutely or she could use she could even use uh, um, some milliseconds as well she could use time well if she stepped back from the as from a means the, to measure yeah well she could step back from that from the track yeah. so she could see the tunnel in absolutely. its entirety of course and she could measure i'm just pulling it on here she should get a, a she could get a stopwatch absolutely to know yes. when the train's gone into the tunnel and then comes back out again yes and sarah and adam would have more or less the same results that's right yes it's isn't it wonderful because essentially what they're but saying we're not stupid are we Pete? no because essentially what they're saying is that when adam's on the train he experiences the the, the tunnel to be a lot shorter right, than, right, than yeah. what sarah does yeah, voice it got here. And Sarah experiences the train to be shorter than the tunnel. Yeah. So what do they do in this video? So what they what do is Einstein. So well, according to Sarah, from Sarah's point of view, the doors. Because if they put a door, as soon as the train goes into the tunnel, they close the doors of the tunnel, and then what happens is that the the train will will hit the will come out of the other end at a much longer time than the time Adam would experience the train. Or oh, sorry, Adam, the, the, it wouldn't happen with Adam. But, but, yeah, yeah. From Adam's point of view, the doors did not close at the same time, because by, by the time he goes into the tunnel, he's coming out of the tunnel, as we can clearly see here. But the tunnel has changed in length. And on one video, before, yeah. on one scene, it showed the door open and close, and they didn't open and close at the same time. Like here, you've got one door open and one door closed. That's because the train's gone through the tunnel. But both doors should open and close at the same, same time. time. But they can't, Surely. because Adam's seeing the tunnel as being really short, because the tunnel's reduced in size. But he should have gone out of there by now. But I'd Surely. like to know how the tunnel can reduce in size. Absolutely. But anyway, let's not... Let's not uh, Absolutely. Let's get back into... When you really do think about this whole paradox, this train in a tunnel paradox video, it's absolute bullshit. It's bullshit because yeah. the two parameters that are easily measurable okay are changed in both instances and yet in yeah, both they're... instances they should remain the same. same absolutely but they're just putting it down to the individual's perception which is absolute bullshit which is bullshit because everybody <clears throat> everybody knows that the adam, length adam knows the length of the train he can sense absolutely. the length he of can the train. he can measure the length of the train sarah is aware of the length of the train she can measure the length of they the are both aware that adam is on a train and the train is moving. moving and the tunnel sarah can measure the length of the tunnel adam can measure the length of the tunnel this video it's is bullshit is bullshit absolutely it, all it is is it's just bollocks it's, it's rubbish it's absolutely so we, so we, i mean we got bullshit. on this we've got on this lovely little a nice little horseshoe here we go of uh, um a, a train coming out a of the drone tunnel chasing two union pacific freight engines passing Absolutely. through cuesta grade tunnel Absolutely. and it's it's a wonderful piece of video but it gives you an idea basically that if you're viewing this now you're you're obviously going to see speed as being a lot slower if something's f an object's if a moving object is far away from you you'll see it move slower Slowly. than yeah. if it than if it was close to you that's common sense. sense yeah common sense but let's say the train drivers on the train 
and we're looking at the train driver. We know that the train driver is moving with the train. Yeah. The hello, tr Mr. The train, train driver. driver could see us. Hello. hello, hello. The train driver could see us sitting on the drone, mm. and we're slightly moving as the train's going. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a drone up there with somebody yeah. on it looking at us. Well, with you Pete know. and Pete on the drone. Absolutely, of course. But the train's moving, you know. But where's the relativity? There isn't any. There isn't any. Because we can clearly see that this is reality. See, absolutely. The it train be, is moving. Maybe, maybe and the um, drone is Einstein moving. should have done the theory of reality, see. not the theory the of relativity. relativity. Because now this train is going to go through a tunnel, okay, a very short tunnel. Now the tunnel's not going to change length irrespective of whether I'm looking at it or whether the train driver's looking and at it. And also the train's not going to change in size either. Absolutely, of course. So let's wait for the tunnel to come. It's nearly just round the bend here. We'll see the tunnel. So we, well, imagine... Well, this is very interesting. Now, imagine that... Yeah, Are you watching absolutely. now, you Globies? Absolutely. You, you Globies, get your timer, get your stopwatch ready, and imagine the train driver's got his... Uh, stopwatch stop. ready and he when he goes through the tunnel he's going to start his stopwatch there's the tunnel right up there oh, can right, we see yeah, yeah, yeah. we can see a little dark do we hole actually, do we actually see it come out we do actually see it oh, come out good. as well so get your get your hum, rummage round get your stopwatch on your phone ready okay we're going to time how long it takes for the oh we could do it now oh, we can we it, yeah just roughly yeah. Just, just roughly, roughly of roughly. course yeah we don't want to be too precise, and do we? Just imagine, somebody imagine they're the driver. Here we go. And as soon as you go through the, the tunnel, you're going to start your stopwatch. And then when you get out of the tunnel, you'll stop your stopwatch. Okay? Are we all ready? Okay. Five, four, three, two, go! Go! Right, okay. Well, it's been three seconds now. Four. Four. Five. Now, we six. don't get a clear view, but we get a rough idea. Now the first time we get to see the train, get ready to stop now. Let's have a little butch. There, stop. About 15 seconds. 15 seconds. seconds. There we go. Directing and the, the tunnel was just there. Yeah, directing the, directing the train driver got the same time. Well, I don't think he well, got... I reckon he did because... Well, but the train driver, because he's on the train, should have recorded something like five seconds because the tunnel's reduced in length. Oh, that's right, because he's on the train. To, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, relativity... And he's moving. No, the, sorry, the Earth is moving, not the train. Absolutely, of course. Absolutely, yeah, the train's not moving, moving according to the train, train driver. driver. So it should, have, it should have done it maybe in about five seconds, but I don't think the train driver would have recorded a... Uh, a length of time of five seconds do you no i reckon it would have been the same as a, around 16 seconds absolutely yeah absolutely same, same amount of time absolutely when you really do think about it <clears throat> einstein's theory of relativity is is absolute bullshit it's all it's all about skewing perception um, absolutely i can understand Forward. the reason why they have it but you can't apply it. You, you've got to understand that there's this thing called reality. Reality. Yeah. Where, how, where can you apply Einstein's theory of relativity? Because uh, uh. it's on, all about a frame of reference. Come on, Mr. Einstein. If, if, some, if I see a rainbow, okay, over, over in that direction, and somebody else is, say, <clears throat> five miles away from me, they might, may not see that rainbow. Mm. So it's a frame of reference. It's a subjective thing, is it not? Absolutely. So Einstein's theory of stupidity is all about subjectivity. But wait there a minute. Hold on a minute. Isn't science all about objectivity yeah. and finding and discovering laws, laws which are universal? But Einstein's... Einstein's theory of stupidity is, is all about subjectivity ah oh. it's your point of view isn't it really absolutely yeah but Einstein, when you think about it, einstein hasn't he he hasn't created a law in absolutely. science he's only created theories theory ideas postulations absolutely but oh yeah see einstein's boring when you think about it because it's absolute rubbish so all, all of it's just rubbish. Oh, it's absolutely rubbish. But it, it was nice to uh, get on and uh, discover that video because 
It's um, absolute, just abs absolute. Oh, that one. Yeah, it's absolute. This video is absolute rubbish. Oh, and and they've got an example the, when it's on the bridge. Oh, the the got to show you that one. Let's see very quickly. Oh yeah, let's have a little look. The it's bridge before them. I mean, oh, oh there it is. I there. mean, it's amazing what the 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 lengths these people go to to justify to well just to justify their position and Here imagine, this time instead of a train in the tunnel we have a train trying to cross a bridge with a section of the bridge missing i mean where, where does that apply to reality yeah it doesn't it's and then fucked what up they have, this is for fucked up people yeah what they have is that they have sarah who's sarah. now not standing at the, the railway side but she's actually on the other side of the bridge the she's on the other side bridge. of the bridge absolutely. and what they're saying what they're saying is is that if you're from sarah's point of view the train is much shorter than the section of the missing bridge and will therefore fall through the hole but they're not taking into account perspective, perspective. from sarah's point, point of view, view she's seeing the train head on so she's obviously going to see maybe the, the short the sh a very short, short train. train yeah and also the train will become much bigger the, the, the nearer it is to her absolutely it's this whole thing is just fuck, fucking f for fucked up people. people absolutely yeah yeah watching this just makes me realize that this is for people with mental health problems, problems. this is solely fodder. fodder it's fodder for people with mental, mental health, health issues yeah basically this is because yeah. you know for rational reasonable um people th this isn't for you <laughs> if you've got a mental health oh, well, problem yeah. This is perfect for you. That's why I'm, I'm not going to, no, no disrespect, but Einstein's theory of special relativity yeah. is for people with special, special mental health uh, issues. Yeah, or with special needs. Uh, special needs, absolutely. If you've got a special need or something like this, you, you know, get yourself and uh, get a book on Einstein's, Einstein's special, special relativity theory absolutely. of special yeah. relativity. But I mean, all that is absolute fucking bollocks. Yeah. It really, really is. I mean, and people wonder why there's flat earthers uh, popping up here, there and everywhere yeah. Yeah. with rubbish like this. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know, it's it's just crazy, 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 crazy. Anyway, anyway, I think that was. Oh, we've got our little photo, haven't we? Oh, well, yeah. We see. We've been busy. Come on, very quickly. We've of the been time. busy with some, with some didgeridoo, no, haven't it? we? It's we've, in that folder. Oh, sorry. Yeah, do apologise. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? Yes, we've been busy. Yes. Oh no, well, not that one. This way. We've there been we busy with our rusting, haven't we? Absolutely. Yes. Now. We did. Uh, two jars and we submerged um, wire wool in two different uh, fluids as it solutions no one's water one's water one's tap water the one what? on the right, right is tap water the one on the left is salt water salt solution salt solution sorry not yeah salt yeah salt solution and you can clearly see that there's a difference in the rusting Mm. The rusting that's occurring on the in the left hand jar is more uh, well, reddish brown. So you can see the iron oxide on you the top. You can see the iron oxide on the top, um, on and the silver of the wire wool on the bottom. Yeah. And on the right hand side jar, where there's just water tap water, it's more browny, isn't it? Green. It's more browny green, but you can see black. There's the black around there now obviously that's the carbon that's mm, the coke absolutely that's the charcoal that's whatever they put in in the blast furnace so through through the, the, these jars are clearly showing that we're seeing so the decomposition of um steel so you could argue into its constituent yeah, parts so you, you can argue the left hand one in the, in these in these pictures here the left hand one is showing the iron oxide being released yeah, yeah. Whereas the right hand <coughs> one is showing the carbon being released. Yeah, the right the right hand one but is showing the carbon being released. But <coughs> one thing that is also important. Oh, sorry, not the note. carbon. The coke. The coke. Yeah. The coke. <coughs> the coke. Not the carbon. Not the carbon. But one of the things that I mean is kind of interesting, and that is the these are out on the windowsill, okay? And they've been left there for how many 
a oh, couple of weeks a couple now. of weeks now and it's surprising that you see the rust the corrosion appear on the top yeah yeah where the light is you know well you don't see it off. you're not seeing it whereas at the bottom you don't see it yeah do you? you don't you don't see it at the bottom only on the surface only on the surface where the light is hitting it well yeah where the light shines which, which on is it. which is um Mm, something to think about i mean we yeah. did we did we did put something in a uh in a box and uh um oh, blacked out the light from the, from the jar and we still got rust didn't we mm. so i mean light doesn't really affect rusting the corrosion oh, but it could be the heat as well remember that could be the heat or, or whatever it's a lot hotter but um it's, it's quite surprising the ph levels were not significant really were they no they were pretty much pretty much around seven what you'd expect what you'd expect so um you know nothing special but one thing that is significant and that is you can clearly see that the you can see the coke and you can see the iron oxide okay we're, so we're yeah. seeing yeah. the so rust all rust is is the breakdown of the constituent parts of steel and depending upon iron or iron yeah and depending, whatever iron is of course and depending upon what's um what's depending on what environment it's in will determine oh yes whether the carbon's released or whether the iron oxide's released absolutely of course yeah what's going to break <clears> down <throat> first absolutely it's going to be released i think that, i think there's only two things we'd like to do more with this we've got to, we've just got to uh check our co2 jar yeah um and we've, we're going to do one more, and I think that, that should call it quits. Yeah, basically, because yeah. All, we, all we've determined through our rusting uh, videos... Busting rust. Busting rust, and that is all it is. All rust is, is just the decomposition of steel back into its constituent parts, rust. being iron oxide, iron ore, and coke. Iron ore stroke iron oxide, because it's more or less the same, same stuff. Same stuff. Um, and coke yeah absolutely yeah, that's yeah, all sure. you're saying absolutely yeah and you know people if people were told that they'd, yeah. they'd be able to understand it a lot more yeah. you know it's, it's like it's like when you when you actually he said when you actually go out into your street and you actually see a car drive past think of it as a lump of rock going past because when you think about it that's all it is absolutely it's I no mean, different to uh, the flintstones absolutely you have a do you know what i mean absolutely yeah in, of course into their their rock absolutely yeah sure isn't it it's, it's surprising when you really do think about it that it's, uh, it's a what's, oh, well, there we go. What, what's surprising is that, uh, one, one thing that i find surprising is that human beings all they do in society is just improve upon the stuff that they've already got yeah that's all they drive do better cars they drive better cars more reliable cars have a better phone have a better phone um but they're still communicating they're still on transport transporting yeah, themselves they're still goods. on a train they're still on a train they're still in a traffic jam absolutely of course yeah so when you think about it on those lines nothing gets any better does it no absolutely perhaps we need to change other things yeah yeah absolutely. anyway on that note it's been lovely to have everybody even though watch again even alb doing his little theory of stupidity oh if he was alive now i'd get hold of his nose and say gucci gucci goo <laughs> because uh, old Albert einstein certainly making a absolutely lot of, of course a lot of you globies very stupid indeed. absolutely of course yeah and one thing i'm just just before we go one thing i am beginning to realize and that is that um the globe earth and all information that supports the globe earth is basically <sighs> an opinion an opinion yeah thank you it's just an opinion that's all it boils down to people just have an opinion they think well, I think, the earth is is a ball. I think the earth is a globe they think that there's the international space station there. <clears throat> they think it's just an opinion that's all it is nothing else yeah i think my doctor's got my best interests at heart yeah i think my next door neighbor likes me i think my mp can help me with my problem I think uh, I think we live in a democracy. I think my wife loves me and won't ever have a, an affair with anyone else. I think when I die, I'll go to heaven. I think I've seen Jesus. Really? No. <clears throat> but uh, you you get me. You get our gist. Yeah. 
that's amazing but anyway uh, thanks ever so much and always remember till next time if something doesn't make sense like the size of a train changing or the t or a tunnel the reducing size? in size the <laughs> size of a train change how can how can a train change its size absolutely of course yes or even thinking that uh, harrier jump jets um use fuel all the time yeah because that's a definite no no that's a definite no 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 no, no. not no, all the time. time maybe squirts in now and again when it needs to yeah. like when it's taking off oh, absolutely when yeah. it needs a lot of thrust hot air hot air needs yeah. that hot air absolutely well it's a bit like a hot air balloon isn't it they go up absolutely yeah you can force hot air down to get the reaction from the well, when, surrounding when you, yeah but when you think about it if you if you inverted the hot air the the flame thing but moved it out a lot quicker, yeah yeah absolutely the balloon would still go up or the the carriage would still go up wouldn't it yeah i know yeah the basket would still <clears throat> absolutely. go up and if you think that uh what else have we done if you think that uh what else have we done scott ever went to the south pole you know or if, oh we didn't do the costumes the fancy dress costumes next time no i'm we'll, gonna we'll do that for another time but anyway so thanks ever so much and always yeah it's all nonsense of course of course it is it's all yeah. nonsense yeah tell her bye the earth isn't round it's flat how do you know i've observed it in all my travels over europe it's flat everywhere it's flat